On Sunday, Britain's top Brexit negotiator was trying to sound positive. We're going to be working very hard to try and get a deal. But David Frost knows he's got a job on his hands. As talks resumed in Brussels on Monday, agreement still looked far from certain. There's still little sign of progress on the key sticking points, fishing rights in UK waters, how to ensure fair competition, and a mechanism for solving future disputes. Irish Prime Minister Michael Martin said the chances of a deal are 50-50. Investment bank JP Morgan said its odds of a no-deal exit had risen from 20% to one-third. On Monday, EU chief negotiator Michel Barnier sounded rather downbeat about prospects, according to one diplomat. Later in the day, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen will review the state of play. Failure to agree a deal will clog borders, upset financial markets and disrupt supply chains across Europe. And with lawmakers on both sides needing to ratify any agreement, time really is running out. The mounting uncertainty is taking a toll on the pound. Sterling tumbled as much as 1.4% against the dollar early Monday morning.